My name is Ginger Reiner and I'm from Cambridge, Massachusetts. I've been studying up on baseball to get ready for the baseball season and to cheer on my Red Sox. I teach at the fabulous Boston Latin School, the oldest public high school in the country. When I'm not teaching or thinking about my students, I love to run and swim and bike. I do a lot of racing. I also love to cook and I particularly love to eat. That's going to be more than 39 square inches of pizza. Good thing I'm hungry. I'm teaching SAT math. It's an overview of pre-algebra, algebra, and geometry with a little bit of algebra too. It's an overview of all the math topics on the SAT. Math doesn't have to be hard. Lines and angles don't just appear on the SAT and in your math class. They're all over the world around us. Let's go find some. I love math. I think math is just everywhere and so applicable to what we do every day. I love math and I love teaching math. <laughs> The way this course works is the first episode is Savvy Strategies, General Tips and Tricks for the Math section of the SAT. It is okay to leave a couple blank on the SAT. After that, episodes 2 through 20 walk through reviews of all of the math topics that are on the SAT. I drew us a model of the baseball diamond so that you can help me figure out how far it is from home plate to second base. In each lesson, I give you the topics we'll be talking about, a little bit of depth on the topics, and then we do practice SAT questions. The area of the shaded region, the eyes. The best way to be prepared for the SAT is to do a bunch of practice questions. So all of the questions that I'll walk through with you and that I'll ask you to do are SAT style questions. You should draw a diagram, do this problem, and hit play when you're ready to do it together. I think it's really important to prepare for the SAT all of the material in class and in school already, but the SAT is different than school, and I think it takes some specific SAT preparation. And I think it's possible for all students to be successful on the SAT with some preparation. You should know the SAT before you walk into the test.